before you come in, can you just say a little something? I mean, if you don't want to, but. Uh, we got an email from a kid that's starting his own brand uh, that told me how much he admired God is Dope. What up, man? <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, man? <laughs> Right. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you too, man. <laughs> you, you right? I'm good. <laughs> What's going on? He's shining, man. So <laughs> nervous, man. Uh, What's you nervous about, nervous man? About. <laughs> you just come to the. How far you stay away from Atlanta? Four, four and a half hours. Four and a half hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I ain't, I up, oh like, man. I okay. Got up at like five thirty this morning. So yeah. God, thank you for this opportunity. Yeah. You know, just sitting there and then we got on the road at like seven. Uh huh. Just got yeah, So, I mean, I think Jay, you want to show him around yeah. a little bit? Yeah, I want to give you a tour, uh, show you what we do here and you know, our process, and then uh, we sit down and talk about Yeah, we can chop it up. But yeah, so basically, <laughs> this is for you too. Oh, what? So, yeah, man. man, okay. Uh. There it is. Yeah, I like that, man. Can I FaceTime my girlfriend? She, she really wanted to come. She had class. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can FaceTime. Oh, no, Look. <laughs> can you see? No. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I'm doing All right. Everything I know. So, wow, for real? Like, man, this is, you don't understand, man. Like, whoever you look up to and aspire to be like, this is like, this to you times 10, man. Like, wow. Man, man, this is crazy. Wow. This is crazy. You don't understand. Like, even the way I carry myself, I learned. Like, really? Yes. Wow, man. How long you been following us? Uh, since early 2016. Really? Uh, yeah. Wow. Then, and, and then you started watching the, like the God Maze and mm -hmm. all that type of God stuff? God Maze, man, I'm telling you, like, if I was just even go back on the video, I know, like, even the consultation you had with World and Vision, yeah. I could just sit there and word it, word for word, <laughs> man. Like, every video, everything I know. Well, we're going gonna to definitely sit down and talk. I'm going to let Jay show you around a little bit. Okay. We, like, you might already know everybody yeah, and what right. they're doing, but I'm going to let him show you around, you know, right now, and then we can um, sit down and talk. Somebody got to talk to him. Here we go. From nothing to a little to a whole lot Same block, same spot, same pot, same rock you Gotta help yourself before you help somebody else We just out here building wealth, I'm beside myself Uh, let me bring in another chair here One second And then after we talk, we probably um, do a podcast And then just bring him into the podcast Like feature him on there Okay You know what I'm saying? God is dope You know what I'm saying? That's what it's it is uh, <laughs> Man, I don't even know where to start, man this is like lifelong journey compass. Like wow. this is you, man. This is like really, really huge for me. Your business model is, you know, you you've adopted it from us, you know what I'm saying, as far as um keeping it simple and keeping the shirts affordable and just focusing on getting the message out. Mm -hmm. Um Yeah, that's all I really know about, you know, humanized being black. Um you can just give me a little bit more background on it. You know, okay. I would appreciate it. So basically, one day, a few months back, I was watching the profile while I was at work. Um, I was stalking, and a kid had walked by, mm -hmm. and I was asking him, was there anything I could help him find? And his response to me was, my daddy told me not to talk to colored people because y'all are called the N-word, and y'all are bad human beings. So I just stepped back and just thought of what I could do positive moving forward. And since I had already been into fashion all my life, I was just like, Let's just use fashion as a way of putting out a message. Right. So it's like, you know, you don't have to, it's not necessarily saying we're getting out protesting all uh, these different types of events, but it's just like when people see you, the first thing that they get is your physical appearance. And when it's on a shirt, it's just like that's something you believe in and that's a statement. Right. So I just use fashion to put out a message that I'm trying to promote. It was just like, you can obviously tell he didn't know better. Right, yeah, it's just it's, honesty at yeah, its purest form. Right, yeah. and that's just anywhere, not just there. Like, you know, 
that that's his parents putting that into his head, you know, manipulating him in that way to right. leave this such belief in towards black people. Like, how has the experience been as far as like? Finding the right people to make it, or you know, figuring out where to get the shirts from, was that hard? Um, I got a wholesale account with SNS Activewear. Okay, I heard so it. Now. I get my shirts at like one sixty five. Yeah. The white, and then like two hundred one for the black shirts. Mm -hmm. And the screen printing company I go to, they print them for three dollars. Okay. But as of yesterday, they just um, said to me that they have to go up a dollar on it because of the tags. Like they, it's oh. very time consuming. So okay. That's one thing I want to do, run across you. So they got you at four dollars a shirt. Four dollars for the print. How many are you doing at a time? Um, normally I do like fifty black, fifty white, and I've been moving them, man, because everywhere on the weekend I'm there, like I'm somewhere setting up, you know. Yeah. I just got me a table, so yeah, you know, I got. I'm working on getting the banner, you know, and all this different stuff to like actually people can see it and they'll know. One time I was just like going through it, it's just like. Man, what I'm gonna do? And I just kept telling myself, don't lose faith. And I had, like, on the iPhone, if you text your number, like your, your own cell phone number, yeah. you know, the message will come back. You can right. have a personal conversation. Right. And I, I wrote, for, I changed the contact to Sherrod, and I sent myself a message just saying, man, look what I done with my brand. I made it off of one design with two colors. Uh -huh. You keep going. You know, this could be you. Because I was losing faith, and I just knew, like, I didn't have, like, people to turn to because some people they just like are really hypocrites yeah and you know yeah. they'll make it be like they believe in you but they don't really believe in you but I just knew like everything I had learned from you I knew whether or not you had ever came across it you'd believe in me because I know what I know because of you so I knew that you believe in me and even if you didn't it was just the fact that I learned from you and I, I followed your footsteps and Everything that I'm doing is based off of listening and just following up on everything that you're talking about. And everything I know, I learned from you. Oh, so, man, man. It's just like, man, like, like you might not even believe that you built a legacy, man, but to me, like, you're an icon. That's crazy, man. I appreciate <clears throat> these words, man. You know, like, you just never know who watching, you know? Yes, sir. Um, and for us to, you know, because I say us as collectively, because, you know, I mean, as much as I do, I'm nothing without the team. And, for, mm -hmm. you know, for us to inspire you on such a level to, you know, just go out, create a brand, um, just take the same steps we take, you know what I'm saying? Believe in yourself enough, you know, reach out to us. And then, like, you know, it's just... It's just full, you know, full circle for you to be watching us since 2016 and then be sitting right here. You know, that's, I mean, it's just all about hard work, you know, because if I would have got that email and researched you and I wouldn't have saw something that I was interested in, you wouldn't be here, you know? Right. So, I mean, man, people say a lot of stuff, man, but you really, really, you know, you're showing me that, you know, you. You, you got you putting your money where your mouth at. You know what I'm saying. So I'm proud of you. I'm inspired by you. Um, but just you know, besides that, man, I just want to know, um, like, what you got planned for you and us being black as far as like moving forward. And if I'm not saying like what's next, I'm just saying like what's your goal by New Year's? You know. Um, I just think like keeping it simple, like the black white. It just like. It molds, it just grows onto people. And like, yeah. You have to let that set in on people and let them become familiar with what you're doing before you jump out doing this and that and that. Because, like, like you said, if I do, then it's just gonna be like you're doing too much and you're oversaturating your crowd. Yeah. And like, like it's, it's like you said, it's a humble game. Like it, it really is, man. <laughs> man yeah. Like it, it really is, man. <laughs> just keeping it simple. That's like the best decision I could have ever made because I'm telling you, man, it works. Like for you to take that quote, I, I, I think I remember what episode that was. Mm -hmm. It's like as far as just being a humble game, like being out there on them corners and in them streets with a yeah. table will humble you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It'll show you like, man, it, it's just all about perspective. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like, okay, I got to swallow my pride. 
right. you know, because, I mean, even for me, I'm, I, I think I was probably seven years older than you. You know what I'm saying? Like being on the street selling shirts. So it's super humbling for me. You as a, a young adult, it's like, oh, okay, he's a kid, he got time. Me being 26, 27 out there, like, like, bro, you ain't got to get you a real job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you really out here trying to sell me t-shirts, bro? So it's like, people don't really realize that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then, even if they do realize it, when they get out there and they on them streets and they get the first no, or they get 10 no's in a row, that's when they like, yo, this ain't it. This ain't mm -hmm. for me. You know what I'm saying? Right. But it's just got to be something in you, the person. That's why people, are, you know, People come to these seminars, you know, we do the um, entrepreneurial brunch and stuff like that. And I try to like, the last thing I say is about execution, it's about you. It's about the person. Cause I mean, people try to, people try to tell me that God is dope is gonna win anyway, because of the name. But that's, that's not a fact. Cause there's so many other ways we, I could have designed the logo or could have not shown up to different events or, you know, been out there consistently to the point where it, it would still be just a HBCU brand, you know what I'm saying, just on the campus or something like that. But it's about the person, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not a, it's the brand, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, like, if you willing to eat shit for six months, not, you know, sleep on the futon, you know, sleep on the futon, sleep in the store, you know, like all these sacrifices you got to be willing to make right. just to to become an overnight success. Or for people to be like, oh man, y'all y'all took off like that. Y'all was going to win regardless. But they don't see human eyes being black on the, the streets or at this event or that event. They just see it when it's Kendrick Lamar wearing it on BET. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's what they see. It's like, right. I knew it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't see all this hard work I had to do and these relationships I had to make just to get it to this point. So, I mean, but it just, it got to start with you. No matter how many no's you get, no matter how many people look at, like, we got to, you know how many people, I didn't realize how many people didn't believe in God till I started God is Dope. Wow. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just, being stupid, I just, I mean, everybody believe in God. But you just, so many people be like, oh, that's, you know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't real, that's, you know, so it's like, as long as you know what you're doing is right, then you, like, you'll be okay. Yes, it's just about having self-awareness through all of this and being like, okay, I know who I am. That's why me knowing who I am, I can wear these $10 Walmart shoes or I can drive the Altima that I've drive, been driving since 2007, my first car I ever bought, because I know who I am. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And going through all of this, It'll really show you who you are. You know what I'm saying? So I don't gotta, I don't gotta dress a certain way or drive a certain car to prove nothing to nobody. Cause like at the end of the day, I know who I am, and if you do your research, you will know who I am too. Yeah. So like that plays a huge part in the early days, because I mean, money don't change money. Money don't change you. It just enhances who you really are. Mm -hmm. That's all it does. All right. You know what I'm saying? So. I didn't, it didn't take for me to get money for me to go and buy a $200,000 car or start wearing Gucci and Louis Vuitton. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, just based off you knowing, understanding, this is a humble game and actually being out here in the field, in the streets, I think you'll be the same way when it comes to, because I mean, I could not have payroll for the staff, but I could have a $150,000 Porsche. You know what I'm saying? But that's backwards though. Right. And the company can't sustain like that. Right. So, I mean, I think you're gonna go far. You know what I'm saying? If you, you first off, you, you know, you you listening to everything I'm saying. What I'm saying is proving the work. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you got a good message, you got a good head on your shoulders. And like I said, I mean, everybody not gonna support you. But you gotta find those few people that do believe in you and support you and keep them around you. Mm -hmm. You know, and, 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 and build off that. It's just like like I was saying, it's just about one follower at a time. Mm -hmm. You know? And when when it's documented, like our stuff is, not in the best form, but we got documentation of when we was out there in the streets. It's 
Because coming in, you, you, can, you can instantly follow God as dope and look at it and say, oh, they bought those followers and they just came up off of just internet. But before we did anything on the internet, we was in the streets. You know what I'm saying? And I think that's, you know, the way, the way you're doing it is the perfect way. You know what I'm saying? And if any way I can help, any way, I'm down to help you. You know, whatever you need. You got any questions you want to ask me right now? After you moved those 5,000 shirts, was the plan to get more because of what you knew you could do? Or was it to get less to just like step back and say, okay, I'm gonna take a different approach towards this? I mean, it was, once I moved those 5,000 shirts, it was like game on. You know, like, it was like, if we slowed down, we could lose momentum. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when you got the momentum, and, and it's tricky because you can think you got a lot of momentum and you really don't and you over order. You know? All right. Or you can say, okay, we don't we don't got that much momentum and then it goes crazy and you don't have enough to fulfill. Mm -hmm. You know? Yes, so it's a tricky game as far as scaling. But when we sold five thousand shirts in that time frame, I knew it was special. So it was like it was no turning back. Every single penny, if it wasn't me paying rent or me putting gas in the car, it was going back into God's dope. Mm -hmm. Hands down. So it was never a matter of, okay, let me see. No, nah, it's like, yo, this is, this is what they want. You know, it's supply and demand. You know, it's like, all right, this is what they want. We got to keep giving it to them on a, on a whole nother level. We just got to, you know, it's just, it's about enhancing the marketing. Because once you believe in your brand and you know you got something, it's just a matter of people seeing it, you know? So, like, we just need that platform. You know, all we needed was the opportunity. For, you know, that's, when I, that's why I put up a billboard. You know, not saying billboard is the right way to go because I think that lane is dead. I was doing that to kind of prove a point in the city where it's like, like a lot of people, you know, played us, you know what I'm saying, in the beginning. Right. So it was like, I, if you don't see us on Instagram, if you don't see us on these campuses, I know you don't see this billboard right here in the heart of the city. Yeah. So I wouldn't suggest getting a billboard. There's a lot more you can do with that money. Yeah, <laughs> that it's, a, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot more you can do with the $2,500 or $2,000 it takes to, for a billboard. So I wouldn't go that route. Right. But I'm just saying that's, that, was, that was the first step I took, billboard. After that, we got a store, you know, and it was just about growing and growing. And it was like, like literally, I haven't slowed down at all. I just like, like foot on the gas. Right. like moving so I mean everybody around me know that everybody know that I'm not going to question any amount of money that we're spending on the business at all just because I know if I put X amount into this business I know what I can get in return period so it's like it's the best investment that I can make in my opinion yeah it's in yourself so I mean nah well, to answer that question nah we, we kept going you know can you tell me about one of the worst marketing decisions that you may have ever made? Like, okay, the worst marketing decision I made. Give me 30 seconds to think about that. There's been a bunch of them, but I'm trying to think of like the absolute worst. Oh, when I first started out, I was into these, like sending shirts to these influencers, these girls that had three million followers, uh -huh. but they had it because their ass was big. You know what I'm saying? Right. It wasn't because people cared about their opinion on anything. It was right. just like, you thick. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want to see that. Don't say nothing. Just turn around. And me not knowing, I'm thinking, oh, two million, three million followers equates to at least if I can get, I used to think percentage wise, if I can get, you know, a certain percentage of those people to follow me and buy this, then I'm good. But that's not the case. So I. And I, I reached out. I think I think I had advertised somewhere, and then somebody reached out to me and was like, "Hey, do you want to advertise?" Blah blah blah. And I'm like, "Yeah." So I think it was like between twelve and fifteen hundred for a girl to wear it. And like, I, I sent her the shirt. She put it on. She posted. And all of the comments are like, "We don't want to see this. We want to see you shake it." Right. <laughs> I'm like, oh, and you know, this is early. Like right now, it's like, okay, we lose 1500 Okay, whoop de doo But in the early stages where it's like every penny counted, and I've, you know, put, you know, you gotta make a, count. a quarter of the bank on that, 
I was like, dang, you know, I learned my lesson quick. And it's, that's what it was about, like failing fast. It's like, okay, that's not what I want to do. Because people seem to think that influencer equals a lot of followers. Right. But you can have millions of followers and not have influence. You can right. have a thousand followers and have more influence than someone with way more followers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like the, the equation is more so like, do you influence these people's decisions and right. like inspire them to do something because of you? Yeah, that's that's that was my worst marketing mistake. So like, with God is dope, like as a, just as a brand, mm -hmm. do you think? And I, I just I just wanted this from time to time. Like, do you think without the box, mm -hmm. the brand would be like as far as it is now? Yeah, that's a good question. Without the box. I don't know. Because I was just looking at this jacket and I'm just like, it's, mm. it's missing something. Then I just realized that the box ain't missing. Right, right, right. So I think I, so, but I think you're trained to think it's missing something. Because if Shroud would never launch the box, then all you'd know is that. Yeah, you know? yeah. true statement. Yeah. I think yeah. it's like, a, that's just an up in the air. Yeah. Like you'll never know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. You know, it didn't happen, so. But, but I mean, he, you got a good point because after we did the box, I realized that format became popular. Oh, my dad sent me this this week in the airplane to, I think he was going to Mexico, a woman was wearing a shirt that said, same exact format, same font, but it was like, black women are dope. Yeah. But same, so, right, you know, right. That one, that one was a four liner, but, like, right. you know, but he was like, I don't think y'all made that, right? I was right. Like, no, that's a rip off. But, right, but that's what I'm and, saying. Like, my dad seeing, like, my dad is a, like, isn't super into Instagram. He doesn't see all the time. He sees it when I post it or like, he knows I work for the brand. Right. So him just seeing that and making that connection was like, oh, that's got to dope. Right, and right, he, right. There for man. He was like, you should get on to this. Right, well, right. It's not that serious. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, exactly. So you got a good point because it, ha it had to be, that box had to be something special because Everybody's doing it, you know what I'm saying? And, and I mean, I don't know if it's because we as popular as we are, but like, yeah, that box is, it's something, you know, it's, it's, the box has a lot to do with, I think, our success, because like I said, if it didn't have anything to do with our success, people would just maybe use this. Right. You know what I'm saying? But it's something about that box that people like. Exactly, that's what it's, you know what I'm saying? That's what it's about, that's where the, some of the most creative Things come from is just from a space where it's like you got to go through something, you know. You got to experience something to really yeah. like become great. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's why I like the. I think the most the, like kids that are privileged, like rich kids and people that come up, like I, I, I think that's that sucks. It's like you don't have no drive. You don't have no right. ambition to be anything outside of what you was born into. Right. If you hear people's stories, success stories, like. Home, from homelessness, you know what I'm saying? Like all that type of stuff. It just drives the person to, you know, get you know, get out of that situation that they're in. What would you say, like for God is dope was like a time where, okay, man, this works, like the email marketing just Well, I, the first the first one we did was like proved me like I was surprised at the response we got. So I think it's mostly about the amount of customers you have mm -hmm. in your database. So, I mean, that's all, and especially like, it's not like I'm getting a, a party promoter's email list. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a difference between people that's on this list to go to parties and people that's on this list that shop for human eyes being black. The party from people that's going to the party, they see this stuff, they go, they're like, okay. But if you got somebody that's been to your website or shopped with you in the recent, you know what I'm saying? Because you can get 200,000 200, or 20,000 people and they might not react to it. But you can get 5,000 of people that have been to your website and um, actually familiar with it, or even if they bought something, if they abandoned checkout or actually bought something, they still had been to your website at one point in time and just didn't check out or actually bought something. I would take my chances on sending an email to those 5,000 people over those 50,000 people yeah. that just don't know nothing about your brand. You know what I'm saying? I think that's all God is dope is. People like the way people compliment them while they wear the guys though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's that's right. the thing. So you wanna you want something that's gonna like like entice conversation. And that's 
That's definitely that. You know what I'm saying? Because yes, like I think I think one of the comments was. And and I um when I posted about him was like since when have black people not been humanized? Yeah, I, I see. You know, yeah, I see. so it's like yeah, perk good. Let's talk about it. So you wanna you wanna you wanna create conversation. That's one thing I'm learning now. I've just learned that within the past month. Like ask questions in the captions, like tough oh, yeah, questions. Like with the, uh, Alexa hoodie. Yeah. Smart, what's yeah. your best? You know, what's the favorite gospel number one gospel song of all time? Um, it's a few other things that we've done within the past month. Create an interaction, you know, create a community. And I think the best, the best, the people that do that the best is like the shade room. Yeah. You know, yeah. they do that the best as far as like roommates. What do y'all think about this? So, I mean, I'm, it's just like, you just got to look at the people that's doing it on every level. Like, yeah, we don't want to be a site like that that's airing dirty laundry. But what's some of the tactics that they use to engage people? Like, why are people so addicted to that? Page. Okay, cool. Why is Fashion Nova so hot? Okay, cool. You know, like study the people that's really doing it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you realize Fashion Nova so hot because they adapt to the times. They got new stuff dropping every week. Why, why else are they hot? They got the influencers, the right influencers wearing it. Why else? It's affordable. You know? And it's like, you know, those three things are what makes Fashion Nova Fashion Nova. The influencers, the affordability, and what else did I say? Consistency. The consistency. That's it. So, I mean, just stay busy. You know, like, I've, I just learned from everybody that's doing it. Even the people that's, like, we took, we took the approach of, like, using means. You know, even though, like, you can learn from any, anybody. You know, they ain't just, I'm, I don't look at how many followers somebody got to say, oh, I can't learn nothing from them. Yeah. You know? Right. I just like, okay, you know. Not not blatantly stealing what they do, but just doing it in your own way. It's like, okay, it's marketing. You know? Okay, that's a form of marketing. Let's let's see how that works for us. So, yeah, we constantly evolve. And I encourage anybody, you know, to do the same thing. Like, figure out what works for you. Yeah. Post this to your story. And tag he must be black and the reason why i don't say post it to your page is because the average person like they, they just like they want to post pictures of themselves you know right they post something that that really means something to yeah them. like this sure might mean something to it but it would be right. something like here they go tomorrow right so it's just like your story you know that's just what people go when they want to show like oh this is what i'm doing today like this is right. what i got going on right, right. Now. and you know? it's interesting that you know that though you know what i'm saying yeah. like you gotta you, you gotta understand that a lot of people don't understand that. Right. A lot of people want that main, like, man, put this on your face. It's like, and then you're going to scare people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. for you to know that says everything. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. The fact that you know that, you, you get the psychology of it. Right. You can't teach that. You know what I'm saying? You just got to, you got to be aware of how people think. So, yeah. Right. That's how, yeah, that's, that's you, good. Just always put yourself in the people's shoes. Yeah. You just, you just got to think. How they think? What you said about adding value to the customer? Uh huh. Uh, I just want to tell you, like something that I recently done. You may or may not say this was a good example of doing it, but a girl who ordered a shirt from me, she um had DM'd me like two or three days later, and she was just like, "Hey, um, my home burned down, and you know I have a different location where I want to send my package to, and you know I asked for the order number, and when I sent the package, I just kind of like sent like an extra." Shirt, you know, just yeah. you know, in a care note, like, hey, you know, we're praying for you, you're in our prayers, and we just hope that everyone does us back from this, you know. Right. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I was just like, when is that like a good example of that's, that? That's, that's, a, that's a good example of customer service, period. You know, um, that goes a long way. Yeah, adding value to the customer, but like, like that's just like thoughtfulness. You know what I'm saying? Like, like who's thinking of that? Because adding value to the customer would be. Like, what, when I say adding value to the customer, it would be more so um, from a standpoint of, okay, make them feel like they winning, like they getting over on you. Mm -hmm. I think you should create content. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, okay, who knows being black? It's a dope statement. When they go and research it and Google it and everything like that, what are they seeing besides the shirt? 
Oh. You know what I'm saying? Content about humanizing being black, okay. Even if it's just, you ask people, okay, have you, have you ever experienced racial, racial profiling? And they just film, you know, you just film their reaction, like, yeah, because blah, blah, blah. And boom, and then you, you create, uh, they give you 15 seconds of that, and you create a three minute loop of people telling you their stories, their stories about, you know, racial, and, and what, this is why I wear human as being black. Okay. And people don't have, even if they don't, um, even if they've never been racially profiled, they can wear it, you know, just because somebody they know has been racially profiled or somebody I'm they know. I'm not black, but I'll wear the shirt because I, right. I believe in that. You right. know what I mean? It doesn't, Thank like, you. it's a thing where you don't have to be black to wear that. It's right, just, exactly. That's a belief. Exactly. 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 So, and then, and then you want to, you want to, you know, encourage the diversity where it's like, okay, get some black people, I mean, some white people in it. Yeah. Some Hispanic people in it. You know, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, we down with that. That's one thing I'm doing now is just getting to, like, events where it's just, you know, even if someone's speaking at an event and I just know something like, okay, I can kind of, like, get in, get in there and just, you know, wear the shirt and see whose attention it catches. Right, right. You know, just be there. Right. Because even, like, one day I was at work. And like, I'm in South, like I said, I live in South Georgia, like down South, I'm at work. And like this lady come to my line, and at this, on this specific day, I wore the black box logo shirt. Mm -hmm. And I, I left my vest at home. She was <laughs> like, how you know about God is dope? I was like, man, like, you don't know me lady. Like, like, I look up to this, like, it's, right. it's like, yeah, I was at the um, convention in Atlanta. And like the guy who owns the brand, he was there and he was talking to me about it. She was like, my kids love it, you know, and all this. And it's just like, all I took from that was like, you know, being at these like different locations because this was like a white lady who came up to me. She wow, like, really? Yeah, she was just bragging like, you know, like the guy was so humble, you know, you know, I like what his brand is about, you know, even how he used the word dope into like a cool meaning. Like right. some people don't understand that. And just coming from an older lady, it just caught my attention because it's just like, you know, some older people, you know, even just like blacks, right? It's been they they hear the word dope. You know, to them it's like, yeah, oh that's that's the the marijuana, yeah. yeah, you know mm -hmm. stuff like that. But like to the young people, they they just like no, they just like oh dope, it's cool. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right, right. So they just showed me like, yeah, you got to be out here talking to these people because it's gonna people be people who see that and they gonna think this is strictly for black people, but it's not. Right, it's diverse. Even even do social experiments. That's the big thing. Like, I mean, I, human as being black is, I see. So I see y'all going viral with a social experiment where it's like, you you set up a a white homeless person on the corner, you set up a black homeless person on the corner. What's the difference? And you like shoot a camera and you just film that. You know what I'm saying? You just right. film the difference and okay. In one hour out here, this black guy in this particular neighborhood made three dollars. This white guy made. Thirty-eight dollars, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's. I mean, that's just that's not the, you know, they ain't got to be that. But it's just like social experiments, you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, man, like, why? What's the difference in this homeless man and that homeless man? Why are you more willing to give him yeah, money than yeah. this guy today in the same situation? You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's something that can instantly go viral if we get on the right platform where it's like, wow, okay, who did that? Oh, that's human as being black. That's when you're not focusing on, you know what I'm saying? That's right. when the shirt's going, like the message, this is going to sell itself because it's like, okay, I get that. And like, you, you, get, you got it way earlier than I figured it out. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, man. I like seeing that, like, this is what the whole goal of the brunch and like the content like that was. Like, you always told me that if you would have had someone to explain it how we're explaining it. Yeah. And like, this is yeah. like the living, breathing proof of like, yeah. yes, <laughs> like, <laughs> right. we're doing what you set out to do. Like, I mean, I've been blessed, you know what I'm saying? Like, not just over the past three years, throughout my life, you know, just being the places I've been and meeting the people I've met and the experiences and stuff like that. So. Just wanting to be a blessing to somebody else, you know, and this, it go. I, I want to take it beyond that. In you too, man. Like even you. Like yeah. I just go to your page and just like be like, dang, like this man actually be there, like running the whole thing. You yeah. Know? So it's just like to actually meet both of y'all. It's just like yeah. Wow. <laughs> just chilling. Just like you know, it was just. Just seeing how you were so behind the scenes because it's just like you look on God's door, it ain't nothing like Sherrod Simpson on there. Right. It's just like, 
you know, strictly guys though. It ain't nothing. Besides like the story. Yeah. But like it ain't you know, so I had to really like look for who's behind the brand. Yeah. But I found out I was like, dang. Yeah. <laughs> No nah, man, I mean, my, my 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 reason for that is like you know I just look at like I said I just study so many other people and pe people don't know, I mean if you know you know but ninety nine percent of people that wear Nike don't know who Phil Knight is they don't know who uh, who started Nike right. they know LeBron they know Mike yeah. they know Kobe you know what I'm saying they know the ambassadors so I want to push the ambassadors to the forefront and you know make sure they doing the right thing to represent the brand. You know, and because I mean, I'm not trying to be a brand ambassador for God is dope. You know, yeah. I mean, I am the ultimate brand ambassador for God is dope, but I'm not trying to be the public. You know, like, look at me. You know, blah blah blah. I, I'd rather let the people that already got the influence and on TV shows and this and that, but still have our same motto. You know, it just makes sense. You know, so yeah, that's that's my reason for not really. Wanted to be, you know, like, like I think Denzel said it in, um, in American Gangster. He was like, they don't know me any more than they know the chairman of General Mills. It was about the blue magic, you know, not to flirt, get muddy the waters or nothing, but that was, you know, that was a real statement. It's not about, it ain't about me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sherrod, he says, uh, there was like two actual news interviews. Now, me and Sherrod are both in the store and the news came in and they're like, Let's uh can we speak to the owner and Sherrod will go <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Like two yeah. actual news interviews that says like Jay Brazil, owner. <laughs> <laughs> like, ah. Right. And I, and I'm getting like DMs like, I thought this was a black owned company. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, damn, okay. Dang. Yeah. That's but it's good. yeah, but I mean I've opened up a lot more because I'm I realize Latino. Right. <laughs> I realize situations like this, yeah. you know what I'm saying, where you can look at me and be like, you can relate to me instantly because we the same person, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. So like, like this moment right here is why I do it, period. Like just this whole interaction is like the main reason for me starting to become like a face a little bit more than I usually do. So it's like, I know I'm doing this for the right reason. You know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So now it just came full circle. I'm like, man, okay. I was right. You know, like, this could change somebody's life. You know, this could help somebody get out of their situation. And I mean, I know it's, it may be more than you. You know what I'm saying? Um, people that might not have gotten t in touch with me yet. Or it's like, I mean, because I've seen messages and emails from people that, you know, said similar things. And um, I met a few people that, you know, told me, you know, what I've done for them just through my advice and, you know, lessons that I've learned and yes, growing the brand and being real transparent as far as what they should do and the mistakes I've made. So, like, yeah, I, it, just, it just shows me that I'm doing, I'm doing the right thing. I was just like, man, going through it, tears started coming out of my eyes. I'm just like, man, like, bro, like, did I really just get that call? Because just... Earlier that week, I was just sitting there talking to God, like, God, if this is really what you want me to be doing, let me know. Right. And if it's not, you know, just show me what you want me to do. Because either way, I'm thankful that you've been so merciful towards my life and just, like, have led me to be in the position I'm in. So, like, when I got that call, it was like a confirmation. Just, like, don't lose faith. Wow. You got it, man. Like, don't. Faith. Because I was almost sure, I was just talking to my mom and I was just like, you know, I'm almost sure they don't just do this for anybody. Right. No. So I was just like, man, <laughs> this is something, you know, like, to other people. When I made the post about it on my Facebook, people was just like sharing it, you know. I, I believe most of them because, like, they just had new all like, man, Shiraz and Shiraz and like, <laughs> it was just like, you know, some people, they they just like, oh man, that's that's good. You know, I, my classmate, he doing something, you know, but most people, they just like, dang, bro, be talking about him all the time. And now he going up there, like he meeting them, and you know, like right. that's that's huge, you know? Wow. Like to somebody randomly just scrolling, it might not be nothing, but like, the people to that people know, who know yeah. that's something, man. And like, it's, it's just like a, a dream come true, man. Like. This is something to me. Like, this is something I, I'll be able to tell my kids if, like, God give me the opportunity to have one one day. 
I'll just be able to tell my kids, like, I remember the day my life changed. It started when I met one person. Because just last week, I had a prophet speak over my life. Just like, you about to meet somebody who's going to change your life. And me and my mom just looked at each other. And she just looked at me like, Shira. Like, they was that same. Then that day, next day after I got the call, she was just like, we was looking at each other like, Shira. And that was it, man. Like, that was the confirmation I needed. I knew I had not made it, but I made it. You way behind me when I was your age, when I was your, I ain't gonna say me 10 years ago, because I was somebody else. <laughs> but three years ago, you know what I'm saying? Like, you you right there. So it's like, man, I'm so proud of you, man. Man. Yeah, Just man. hearing that, man. Yeah. This, what it's all about is just seeing more than yourself. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, like, you, you get up, pull somebody else up. I guess even if it's... One, you change one life. You know what I'm saying? You good. You good. Like, like I mean, let alone you, you're gonna change way more than one person's life for what you're doing. So, just keep doing it, man. Thank you. Keep going. Don't let nobody tell you to stop. Like, listen to yourself. You got, you got wisdom at a young age, and you got, you know, you got the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? I've been telling Jay the same thing. Like, man, you're so gifted. You know, it's like certain stuff you can't teach with experience. You just got to be born with it. Right. You know, experience is good, too. But I've seen so many people that have brands for such a long time and been through so much, and they still don't get it. <laughs> you know? Right. So, like, what you got is something that can't be taught, and you just got to be born with it, and you just got to have it. So, like, you got it. So just embrace it and know you got it and embrace these moments right now where you outside. Just just smile. Like I would like I would I knew what I had. So I would I would be happy when like people would say me, tell me yes or no. Cause I knew I'm like, man, okay. I'm gonna see that person again. That person's gonna see this brand again. They're gonna, be, they gonna think cause, cause human eyes being black ain't a brand you're gonna forget. God is dope ain't a brand you're gonna forget the name. Like you ain't if you see it once, you're not gonna say, I don't remember when I, I don't, I don't remember seeing that brand. Right. That's like, it's a statement to where you're right. gonna remember it. Human eyes being black, same thing. So like all the, like, we, the brands mirror each other. So I know for a fact, if you're consistent, and you get up every day and you show up, that's all it is, showing up. Show up, people gonna respect you for that. And even if, even if your happiness ain't getting to this level, you know what I'm saying? If it's just taking care of your family, you know, like people that make a hundred thousand a year. It's a lot of people that's way more happy than people that make a hundred million a year. You know what I'm saying? So my the goal is just happiness for me. Like, don't chase the money. Just take care of your. You know what I'm saying? If you just, some people happiness. Man, I want to move to Atlanta. If you want to know, I want to stay where I am in Douglas County. And I want to. I want to. My goal is I want to make a hundred thousand a year, and I want to. I want to create a baseball team. Or I want to create a football. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to help this. That's your happiness. You know what I'm saying? Yes. And just figure out what makes you happy, and just focus on that. And I want to. You know, I want to. I want to donate some money to you today too, for the. You know, just to help you out with whatever you might need, as far as shirts. You know, anything. This ain't no. I see you in five years. You know, like, I want to stay in tune with what you're doing. I want to, you know, give me updates, how I can help you if I come across some stuff that I think might work in your realm, I'll let you know. Man, this came from D. Sherrod Marcus Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> man, like, wow. Like, like Lerato, man. Like, yeah. you know, like, stuff like that, man. Just like saying that. And like, like, yeah. I just, I was just praying on the way here, just like, God, thank you giving me this opportunity. Even if we just shake hands, I'm grateful. Like, if we not said a word, I'm grateful. Because it was just like, I know that everything I have, it's just because I learned and I listened and I pl applied it to my situation from everything that you've taught me. Like, wow. And just like, seeing that it unfolded and it happened just how you told me it would, it's just like, wow keep going like that's that's just the thing with me just like keep going like don't don't stop you know because you it's, it's so easy to get discouraged and you just like man like what what's next yeah. you know what i'm saying but like i just listen like man 
I go and buy like X like hundred amount of shirts. You had five thousand. <laughs> Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. like, bro, this ain't no game. Like, bro, you got to get out here and keep going. Like, keep moving it. That's really what it be about. Like you said, like, 30% of it is having, like, that, you know, design. And it's just, like, it sells itself. But that other 70% is just about the person behind the brand. Yeah. Facts. Like, exactly. it's just, like, that's what it is, man. Like, you got to get out there and, like, let the people And you know, what's, you know what's so crazy? is There's so many people around me that want to do this. But they don't even, they around me on the daily and don't get the concept of it. Dang. That's that's was that's like you would think that you know you telling you I'm talk I'm talking to you. There's people around me on a daily basis that take the knowledge that I'm that I give like just for granted. Like huh, I'm gonna still do it this way. I'm gonna still do it the hard way. You know. Right. So it's like I just appreciate one person finally. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like right. okay, you understand like the importance of this. Having my phone every time y'all go live and like be at work, like at a register, and I'm like at the register, and my phone, like right here by the cash register. And if y'all live, I click on it and like I'm bringing people out, like, trying to watch the videos. It be like that. Okay, so you want you want to grab some lunch or something? Yeah. That's All right, cool. Figure it out. Hop in Jay's car. Breakfast on the yacht. I like expensive property. Trust account on lock. Federal Reserve a spot for me. No need for money. Gold kilo money, negotiable instrument, white people money. I can trade you, I can save you. You think you got a job, but they enslaved you. Spell your name? Keyshawn, K-E-Y. Uh-huh. S-H-U-N. Uh -huh. All right, man, I told you I was gonna try to make a donation to your, to your brand, man. Oh, man. We got $1,000. Oh, my God. Just for... You know, anything you need, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't, you don't owe me nothing, man. Just keep keep pushing, keep going crazy. Keep inspiring me, you know what I'm saying? Just do look out for somebody else, you know what I'm saying, along the way. Thank you. Thank you. No problem, man. Thank you. No problem, man. <laughs> I'm gonna go meet his mom. Okay. Hey. Mom, it's a Hey. Wow, you met me like I expected. <laughs> <laughs> I look, you want to be older. You're oh, really? Yes, ma'am. How old? 30. Oh, man. Wow. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. You, nice got, you, got a nice, you got a nice young man. Thank you for yeah. taking him under your wings. You oh. just don't, man, if I heard your name so many, I would thought you were my child. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm talking about you. The first day when he called me. Wow. I'm like, Sean, he got a good thing going, and I'm just encouraging him to keep going. And you know, Thank you, no problem, man. Thank you. So keep it up. I love you, man. I love you too, man. Keep it up. Thank All right, you too. See you later. Right, <laughs> I got corporations with no limitations. I embrace the loyalty, the truth. They just can't take it. I can feel the power and respect. What's a dollar? I was born with the knowledge. I'm a natural scholar.